So we want to find the area of a parallelogram with the corners at these four points. Uh, so to get some idea what's going on here, it might be helpful to sort of imagine a picture. So we'll place the point 1, 3, 2, the point 4, 5, 0, uh, the point uh, 2, 0, 4, and the point 5, 2, 2, and we're going to presume that these actually form a parallelogram. So you may recall that the area of a parallelogram can be found uh, as the uh, magnitude of the cross product of two vectors, where those two vectors uh, are the sides of the parallelogram. So we need to find two vectors which correspond with two sides of the parallelogram. So we can do that here. This side looks like it'd be the vector, let's see here, my x increases by 3, my y by 2, and my z decreases by 2. Uh, meanwhile, this side here, my x increases by 1, my y decreases by 3, and my z increases by 2. And so I get my two vectors as sides of this uh, parallelogram. So now I need the cross product of those two vectors. So let's find uh, 3, 2, negative 2, cross 1, negative 3, 2. And I can either use the determinant method or uh, calculator or other technology here to calculate out the cross product. And then we need the magnitude of that vector. So we need the magnitude of this vector which will be the square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 8 squared plus negative 11 squared. So that'll be the square root of 189, and that will be the area of this parallelogram.